When you play the Game of Thrones, you subscribe and like. Or you die. There is no middle ground. All right, hello YouTube. So we're back on the Grease Goblins channel, and today's video is going to be on the Hound. This was a video that was asked, or I was asked to do by the comments. So that comment will be up on the screen right now. This is an interesting video because. The Hound, we're not even sure if he's alive in the books. I know in the series, like, they brought him back after his confrontation with Brienne, which never happens in the books. But we're not actually sure if he's alive in the books. Um, I think he's alive. Some of you may not. I think he's this grave digger uh, character that we get in Brienne's A Feast for Crows chapter when she's kind of with the monks and all that. And the Quiet Isles. I do believe that is probably the Hound, and I will explain why. But first, if you guys would like to see more of these videos, if you would like me to do a certain character that you guys like, let me know. Also, subscribe, like, and comment, and let's get into it. So, like I said, I do believe the Hound is alive. But like the kind of, like, Elder Monk said, I don't think the Hound is the same character. We've seen that he's, you know, apparently crippled a bit at this point. And he's not the Hound anymore, is what, is what the Elder Monk is trying to say. And I think what he's trying to say is not that the Hound is dead, but that he's just a different person. He's not hell-bent on revenge and stuff like that, and he's kind of found peace within himself now. But, but, A Song of Ice and Fire, good endings, is just not a thing. Okay? So, I think there's two endings, really, for the Hound. I think the one is that he just lives out and we don't see the Hound ever again. Or maybe we hear about him later on that he just has found peace and he's not really trying to get into wars or anything like that anymore. And I know a lot of people have the Clegane Bull theory, like what happened in the show, but I just don't see it happening unless, unless, there's, there's only a few ways I think this would happen. I think these monks, similarly to how in the show, like how they got slaughtered, basically, something would have to happen to revert the Hound back to his old self of being kind of resentful, angry, kind of just a beast. Something would have to happen. There's no way he's just going to flip back to being the Hound without a, a tra you know something traumatic happening. So if, let's say the, the monks were to get slaughtered, and the Hound is pissed off, and he starts going after people. Where does the Hound go? Now, some people suggest he would go to King's Landing to fight in the trial by combat. Doesn't make sense to me, more or less, because the Hound is crippled at this point. We don't know how good of a fighter he's going to be. You're going to send him against the mountain, basically. That really makes no sense to me. Why would he be led into King's Landing the last time he was there... It's not like he left on good terms. I don't see that being a possibility. I, I think if he was to go back, I think he would go with the... The show, I think, for once had a good idea of where Sandor would go after this kind of a situation. Kind of the Riverlands. He's already kind of in that area. He could go with the Brotherhood Without Banners. If he wants to go with Lady Stoneheart, who's very vengeful at this point, I don't know if Lady Stoneheart would take him... Uh, into her band of, you know, brothers, basically, because he is kind of a Lannister in her eyes, you know, even though he's not, if that makes sense. I don't know if that would ever happen. Maybe he meets up with, like, Thoros or something. I don't know. If he's a very char hard character to read because he has almost no allies at this point. I don't know what he would do. Maybe he goes north to try and protect Sansa or something like that. I really don't have a lot that you could do with the Hound, because again, where his character's been placed by George, I almost feel like it'd be better to just give him a good end. I know it's not likely, but I think having this character where he goes from being a very damaged character, Sandor is a very complex character where he kind of hides behind this big, brutal, like, dude who has a lot of anger issues because of his own insecurities and his own flaws within himself, that I think having this kind of arc where he eventually puts the sword down and he becomes someone that is growing as a character, 
would be a, a fitting end for the Hound. Again, that is if the Hound is actually alive. I believe that he most likely is, seeing the context clues we are given, that he's, like, big and tall, you know, even more so than Brienne, and we know there's not many people bigger than Brienne. Also, the way the Elder Monk basically talks about himself and the Hound, that he's a different person now, after, you know, the battle, that... It really would make a really good parallel to the Hound, who would have a similar transformation that he's not really the Hound anymore, he's someone else. And we also see this Gravedigger, you know, also pat like a, a dog, which would make a lot of parallels to his house sigil. And as well as, you know, him being called the Hound, it would make a lot of sense. So... With that being said, that's actually the end of the video. I really don't have a lot for the Hound. I don't know what he could do. Personally, maybe he just goes with one of these lords and he just, I don't know. I personally love the idea of the Hound not really coming back into the story. And just living out, you know, a peaceful life and stuff. I just don't know if George... The other problem would be in the books at this point, there's so many plot lines that... Adding more in with Sandor, I just don't know if he has room for it at this point. And I don't know how he would do it, personally. He would have to tie it into some other plot line, and I feel like the only other plot lines he could do at this point would be the Riverlands. Or maybe... I don't think he would ever rehash the Arya thing again, so... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think with the Hound. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys want me to do a video that you guys want me to do, let me know. I will try my best. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you think this has a happy ending... You haven't been paying attention.